Hello! Thank you for tuning in to this week's read. Um, for this week's read, I'm using the Thelema Tarot. Thelema Tarot by Renata Lechner. Where is that? There's that. Right, hopefully you can see it. The website is at the bottom here. I think it's Los Garibal. Feel free to freeze frame on that if you want that information. Supportive Oracle Cards. Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich. And then there's the website at the bottom. I want to say this one's a Hay House one. I don't remember. Is it Hay House? Yep. Hayhouse.com. They're at the bottom if you're interested. Hopefully that's focusing. I think of it. And for the dice I'm using, the dice, dice shop, and you go to, I think it's Math Art Fun. Hopefully you can see that too. MathArtFun.com. I use a 22 sided dice for the Major Arcana. I substitute 22 for 0 for the Fool. I use a 14 sided dice for the Minor Arcana. And then I use a 4 sided dice to choose the element that matches up with the Minor Arcana. Anything else? No. All right. So if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much for tuning in, and let's get on to your reading. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aquarius? Smack it right out there, right? Wheel is showing up. The wheel is showing up. It may not be really wanted, welcome at first, but it may leave you with a couple benefits you were not expecting. Uh, what is at the bottom here? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups at the bottom. So let's see. You also get the Two of Cups coming up. So I'm not really surprised the Ace of Cups is there. Something's going to go really slow, though. It is going to go slow. Now, that depends on you whether that's okay or not. <laughs> <laughs> like, eh, and I almost feel like immediate retort was, no, it depends on what it's about. <laughs> so, okay, fair. <laughs> it depends on what it's about. Um, so, why, why, what is that? You set this up. Not intentionally to have a problem, but you did set this up. What does that mean, though? You set this up. I keep getting that you set this up, but that's not in the sense of to make it become a problem, but you did set this up. Two of fire. This is two of wands. You shut somebody down. So you got a couple of fire cards. You got the temperance half in, half out. You got the two of fire half in, half out. You shut somebody down at one point. You shut them down. You just shut them right down. When you did that, you stopped an issue from happening. But it was the hermit card, not the hermit. Hanged man card. Which meant it wasn't going to stay that way forever. So you made sure that when it comes back around again, there was going to be safeguards already in place. That's what I'm getting. So I don't know if that sounds too complicated. Aquarius is quite smart, so probably not. But um, you shut something down. It was You shut it right down. Whatever it was, you shut it right down. You knew it wasn't going to stay that way forever. I feel like you knew it wasn't going to stay that way forever. But you also set up safeguards so that way when it starts again, it'll go to your advantage. So I don't think you were meant to... I don't think you meant to cause any issues with that, but it's just kind of like, no, that's ridiculous. I'm not going to pretend that it's okay. And if they, when they try their stuff, and I, I don't, I, f I feel like I knew it was going to happen. I feel like it knew. So the timing is not really something you're happy about, but at the same time, what needs to happen in this situation is happening in this situation. Um, I'm wondering if some of you just, you forgot that you even did this. Because I keep getting it, you set it up so that people would know when this starts happening again, you know exactly where to look. 
and they did, and the truth came out very fast. Um, when I say you set this up, I personally, I don't think it was a bad thing. I just, I don't feel like it was a bad thing. So, and it's kind of like, I don't like the timing. Like, they had to do that right now, because this wasn't really the best timing. But the truth came out, and you set it up for the truth to come out, is what I'm getting. Uh, this is in the realm of play stupid games, win stupid prizes, one of those things. It feels like that's there. So, things are happening in this situation. I don't think you're in the middle of it, but let's just double check. What is that? Seven? Seven of Wands. Eh. I wouldn't say you're totally outside of it. You also got the Magician half in, half out, too. You're not totally on the outside of it. I kind of feel like I'm sort of in it, but you might have some like leeway about how deep in this you are when this is happening. If you've decided you want to be in the middle of it, then you will be. I feel like you have that ability to be. But if you're like, eh, I'll just see what happens, you can kind of go to like the edge of it and just kind of watch, put in your two cents when you feel necessary. So I guess it's elective to like how deep you are in it. Um, isn't that isn't that usual for Aquarius when when other people are causing mischief? Like if you want to be in the middle of it, you can get yourself right in the middle of it if you want to. Otherwise, you could kind of like watch from the side and kind of like direct it where needed, where you feel needed. Also, I feel like it's better to stay on the outside of the situation at the moment. Because there's a lot of pieces falling. That Wheel of Fortune is going all over the place. I feel like it's just... It's like somebody's like whipping it back and forth and back and forth. It's a lot going on here. Like back and forth, back and forth. Um, so... Like, what, is, what does Aquarius want from this? Because I feel like that's a better way to go with this. What do you want from this? Do you know what you want from this? Five of Pentacles, um, and then your card, the star card. Five of Pentacles is half in, half out. Do you, do you even know what you want from this? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like there's so many things flying all over the place with this wheel going back and forth, back and forth. It's like, I don't even know what's really happening right now. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of discord. I just don't want too much fallout. I want to be able to see where it's going. Um... The energy is all over the place. So I keep, because I'm like, I'm getting, some of you are closer to the center, right in the middle of it. Others of you are more on the outside. I don't feel like many of you are in the between. I feel like a lot of you are either on the edge or, uh, or right in the middle of it. I don't feel like I'm just kind of like moving back and forth. I'm like either on the edge or right in the middle of it. Because um, there's a lot of discord here and a lot of craziness going on. I, I think it depends on what you feel is best. That's just how that goes. Um, are we moving on from that? Okay, so this is happening. When this shakes out, this is going to need a minute to shake out whatever is going on here. I don't feel bad about the fact that it's coming apart because it's kind of like, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's just kind of what's going on here. And they, they did that. Um, you kind of knew they would. Eh, I don't think you kind of knew. I think you definitely knew they would. Sooner or later, it was just a matter of time. Um people just doing things they shouldn't be doing. Um, the energy's coming. There's a lot of, there's a lot going on around this. Um, people are not letting it die easily. People are like pushing forward for the truth. People are like really, people are very animated about this situation is what I'm getting. Um, for that reason, you may or may not be right in the middle of it. I, th I feel like it depends on what you're dealing with. The next stage of this is people people who played the games, they can't get out of it. They can't get out of what they did. So they're kind of stuck and they have to pay the just rewards. And there's a lot there's a lot to be learned from this situation and they will be learning that. Okay, so there's a lot of different people with a lot of different angles here too. There's a lot. It feels like a mess. It feels like there's a lot of people involved. A lot. It feels like a mess to me. But it's a general read. Take it with a grain of salt. So once that starts to settle down, Ace of Cups shows up. So 
you seem to be looked at in a very positive light here. I don't think that's a bad thing. Why would it be a bad thing? Is this attention you don't want? Because I'm like, it doesn't feel like I want it. <laughs> it's kind of like, you're looked at in a very positive light, and you're like, okay. I guess kind of feel like the Aquarius energy I'm connected to is like, all right. Okay. I don't know what type of expectations are coming along with that, but I don't know if I really want it. Um, people really are connecting to you. I keep getting people are trying to get even closer to you. This could have some advantages for you. The challenge for you is to not kind of sink back because it's kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want this attention. So I feel like I'm kind of pulling back like, oh, I don't know if I really want that attention. But they're saying that's not really going to work to your favor. Understandable why you would want to, just may not work to your favor. There's advice for this. Okay. People just seem to be really very much about you after this, the dust is set. Things are settling down. High Priestess, the Fool, and I'm getting the saying, this is working out the way it's supposed to. The universe has some more things that are going to come out of this. It's going to be better for you and other people if you kind of try, kind of like, you know, keep your personality in the forefront. That high priestess energy is kind of like you're not you don't show up in a conversation to be liked. You like to be liked, but you like to be liked for who you are, not for who people think you are. So keep that tongue in cheek energy going. Have conversations with people. And like I feel like it's very it's it my brother's an Aquarius. I have a, bro a brother who is. And he, when he wants to be likable, he's very likable. But if he wants to be a little, little shithead, he will be. <laughs> so I roll with that energy fine. I, I know what he, I know how he is. I mean, I grew up with him, so. Um, but he, I feel like he does this, where he's like, he likes to be liked, but he also likes to keep people on their toes. I feel like that's where this is going, because I keep seeing him, and he, he does that. He's, there's moments where he's very likable. There's other moments where he's very just... He likes to people, keep people on his toes is the best way I put it. He's not really like... I wouldn't say he was doing anything wrong, but he like he just says stuff that makes people look at him. Like, what? <laughs> so keep that energy going. Keep people on their toes because there's more truth you're going to help move forward here. Stay involved. Keep people on their toes. I hope it didn't take me too long to get there, but there we are. Continuing on... There's going to be more to balance out here. Play a poker hand where necessary. I feel like you'll know what that means. Because the situation is meant to improve. It's not meant to arm people with pitchforks and torches. So <laughs> keep that in mind. The situation is meant to improve, not arm people with pitchforks and torches. So keep that in mind as you stay involved with this. Talk about the situations that can go better. Keep people away from things that they're just going to make worse. Like, you know, if somebody here played stupid games, they already they got their prizes, they're fine. We don't want people constantly going around and smacking that person, the he person in the head just because they're in a bad mood. So we're going to kind of like, listen, they paid their dues or they are paying their dues. You leave them alone, they're fine. That's being handled. So we want to kind of like block people from getting too close to that. That's taken care of at the same time if there's more things that aren't working out right we want to kind of point them out at this point all right that's where that one's under. there's one left um other people here there's something here with like all right there's people playing games they shouldn't be playing and getting the prizes they deserve for it blah blah blah, blah. i've been through that like 50 times there's other people here who just like to hold a grudge and just like to keep keep making people pay for something it's kind of like somebody saying that person that person stole a box of candy bars and it was worth 20 bucks but they keep wanting that person to like paying 20 bucks and then paying 20 bucks and then paying 20 it's like they it's like this person can never pay that 20 bucks back and it's kind of like somebody needs to step in and be like listen it was a box of candy bars they paid for the candy bars and some it paid for it like twice over at this point. Enough. Enough. 
So I feel like this is one of those things where you might have to be like, you have to slow somebody down and be like, all right, listen, they paid their dues twice over. Enough. Enough. Let's bring this back to a positive energy. That's what this trying to bring it back to a positive energy. Like you don't get to just traumatize somebody for the rest of their existence because they did this they did this thing. Granted, they shouldn't have, but they paid for it twice over. Enough. Um, enough. I know it says, what does it say? True love come to me. It's kind of like, let's get back into a better, let's heal this situation. This situation is meant to go better. We're not meant to make somebody like, you know, a scapegoat for the rest of their life. That's where this is meant to go down the road. That This is meant to get better. This is meant to heal. And I think that's where this is going. We're good? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, james at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.